this is John Lincoln Apache Village RV Center. We're going to be doing a couple walkthroughs on some of our 2022 model Keystone Bullet Crossfires with Tom. He's going to be kind of going through the lightweight sort of introductory uh, models that we have in the Keystone Bullet Crossfire lineup. So, Tom? So all we're really going to talk about is just a real quick hitter on each one of these and uh, why we feel that they're good units for people, whether it's you're just starting off, uh, coming off of the ground out of a tent or you're done cranking up your pop up so this one here is a 1700 this is going to be a bullet crossfire something's on this is going to be number one it is a 2022 we have to move every 2022 we have on the lot we got to get rid of them our loss is your gain number one this is going to have electric jacks all the way around so we talk a lot about we need to make this easy why would i go to something like this because we want to make this easy for you you have a front power tongue jack when you hook up all four of your legs are electric jacks. You push a button, they go down. They're great stabilizers. It makes it easy. You're not cranking anything or grabbing tools or anything like that. This is fiberglass. A lot of stuff in this size. You see aluminum siding. If I were to hit that on an aluminum sided camper, I have to spend the rest of my day fixing it. I don't want to do that. This is great for hail. Also, this is easy to clean. You take a Windex, whatever you like. You wipe it across. It's easier to maintain. We want to enjoy it. Our time is valuable and we don't want to spend it fixing stuff or, or working on things we want everything to be easy and again it goes into little things like a clip for your compartment door easy we don't have to mess with anything another thing notice we don't have a clip to hold the door open it is a restricted hinge it's easy open the door leave it open that's that's all there is to it when you come to this you have a nice patio on this one you're going to put the awning out it's a push of a button it comes out, you can set up your display, your, your whatever you want, set up right out here with your cooking items and things like that. Now, John had mentioned lightweight. Not everybody has these big trucks. So this weighs under 4,000 pounds. This one weighs exactly 3,700 pounds. It can easily be towed wherever you want to go. If you like the idea of heading out west or getting off the beaten path, under 4,000 pounds with solar. 200 watt panel on top of the roof. We supply you with the battery up front. It's ready to roll. You can add a second battery. So if you want to get away from people, which is nice sometimes, you can certainly uh, just do that. Add that second battery and you'll be good to go. Okay? So that's kind of the quick rundown on the outside. Come on in with me real quick. So as we walk in the 1700s, we notice we have a fixed bed. We have so many people that trade in because they say, well, we want a fixed bed. We don't want to be uh using a couch bed we want something there we don't want something we have to make a into a bed every night this is a great option for that we do have a nice dinette with a big window this is a full-size dinette again when we go smaller a lot of times this is where they skimp they'll take this and really make it a one and a half person per side where this is a two person per side so it's a full-sized uh, dinette we have tons of storage all the way throughout all above cabinets that you have up here, a full radio, Bluetooth, hook up your radio, listen to your radio outside, relax, get away from work, right? <laughs> and, and hang out, all right? Next thing, as you see too, you have your farmhouse sink. It's nice, big, it's one sink. Um, you can easily wash stuff in it. Again, I say it, and I know I've been saying it, when you go small, a lot of things get pulled from you in, in some manufacturers. Not in this, okay? You're going to have the full-size sink. You have your two-burner stove top still that you have set up there, and you have tons of storage. Another thing they do is they put window units, a lot of them, in these campers. Full-size air conditioner, just like in our 30-footers. You turn that on there, it's going to freeze you out of this place, which is really awesome. Again, if you're coming from a tent or a pop-up without air, one of the big things you want is air conditioning. You want creature comforts. That'll certainly do that for you, even on the 100-degree days. And full-size fridge full-size freezer again a lot of the smaller ones you're gonna have only this if I can even open it I can't even open it there we go and only have a small little freezer there having both is just like what these 30 footers have so you're not giving up anything there in the 1700 we have our full-size bunks now look at that 300 pound rated bunk okay I love pointing it out because where they skimp is on where you don't see. And where you don't see is inside the walls for the structure and things like that. So therefore, this is going to give you a lot more comfort even for an adult to, to sleep up there. So no problem there at all. And then bathroom, I'll get out of the way. You actually have a sink in your bathroom for something this size. You have a full-size 
shower, you have a, a skylight, you have a medicine cabinet. It's not just a mirror and it's all in one spot. Again, the smaller ones, they love pulling that sink out and doing that. So, okay, so there's your quick rundown on your 1700. Very functional, easy to use, very lightweight. It's going to wind up having a great amount of space in it. Nice, huge window, as you see. Again, we're not, we're not feeling closed in. Where are you going to get a big window like that unless you go to one quite a bit bigger? So, okay, so this is 1700. Let's move over to the 2200. All right, this is our 2200. So we're going to go through a couple of the differences between the two, the 1700 we just did, and then this one, the 2200. Um, quick rundown. Everything that I said on that, for the most part, with the outside is going to work for this too. Full power jacks all the way around. If you want to get off the grid, we have our solar panel right up there. It's a 200 watt solar panel. It's ready to go for you. Comes with two propane tanks instead of one. And then you do put your uh, second battery up here if you want to add a second battery. But remember, ours comes with one up there already. So you don't have to worry about that. So what are the differences between a 1700 and 2200? If you have a little bit bigger vehicle where you can tow a little bit more, this is going to be a great option for that. Okay, so what we have in something like this is now tandem axles. So we have two axles that's going to be on this. We're going to have a little bit more outside space with a little setup for a, a mini fridge back there. And a lot of people bring out their electric skillets. They love to bring that. You can set it up here and we have an outlet set up right there for you where you can plug it in and you can do whatever you wish all underneath the awning. Okay, so many times we see awnings stop here and your outside kitchen is outside. What, do, what good does that do, right? You want the awning covering the whole side so it's easy to, to have all your stuff out here even if you get a little bit of rain or something like that. So again, it's just easy and again, push a button and it goes, goes out. So as we walk in this one, this one's gonna be set up with a little more space. We have a Murphy bed set up here, okay? So we have our couch, we have additional seating whenever you go Murphy bed. And how it works, we're gonna grab Pull this on down, we're going to take this and I was looking for that latch too. <laughs> and bring it on down. So now we have our fixed bed. And as far as the kitchen goes, it's set up the same way as the 1700. You'll notice it has a nice big one sink, so it's again easy to clean stuff. You're going to have the two burner stove that you have set up there and then the microwave just like in the other so as far as comparing kitchens go they're almost the same as far as what you have okay so all they did was take your dinette and put it on the other side in the 2200 so it's the same full-size dinette now a lot of people ask how can we get a full-size dinette in something this size it's because this is an eight foot wide a lot of times the smaller ones are seven feet wide they're not eight foot this is full width that allows us to get the full size dinette in this. It allows us to have that more space than what some of the other ones. And again, so that's 3,700 pounds. This is 44. We're still a really good weight for a lot of vehicles and you get the space that you want without having to go longer, right? So that's the thing a lot of people talk about. We don't want to go real long. We want to stay short to get in most spots. Well, the width of this gives you the square footage you're looking for, okay? Again, nice big window. The other one had the window on the other side. Now, this is your patio side. This is where all your partying's going. This is where you're hanging out. This is where all your friends are, the fire. You have that right there so you can look out over your area there. Same size fridge on this as the other one. So again, we're not looking at those doors. There we go. Okay, same size fridge as the other ones. Back in here now, we have double bunks. So that's a difference between the 1700 and 2200 is now we have double bunks. You'll notice that we have little cubby holes in there, little hookups for, for whoever's in there for their gear, for their stuff, and then two windows as well. And then cubby hole coolers. Um, a lot of people throw inflatable kayaks whenever they bring them with them, you just throw them right underneath there and it's a good place to, to store them. Then you have the corner bath. In the corner bath, we're going to have the same setup similar to the other one where you have a sink. You have the uh, bigger shower with your skylight in the shower. And of course you have the commode and the medicine cabinet that you have set up there. Again, it's not skimped. Uh, they don't take away and put just a mirror and then they, they certainly don't take out your sink as well. Right outside the bathroom is a full size pantry that you have set up there as well, or it can be hanging close too. Okay, so that's kind of the two that we are talking about. Again, the keys of these is we, we need to move them. 
We want to move them. They're 2022s. We want you to have them. We're not in love with any of them. And we want to work to earn your business because we know that we start here in a lot of cases. And we know that, so we're going to take care of you over the years. We're family owned and operated. We do very little marketing. I mean, this is something that we're kind of dabbling in, but we all go by the same business model. You take care of people, people take care of you. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to work for you. We're here to have fun and, and not only work with you, but how about your kids? How about your grandkids? We're now selling campers to, to grandchildren who people have bought over the years. It's, it's amazing. So we appreciate all the business. These 22's gotta go and we want you to have them. So thanks for taking the time.